Hello guys, let's talk about the TP-Link Tepo camera SD card installation. So as you can see, I have the camera here, it's already working with my app, but I need to install a SD card, okay? So I have different SD cards here, let me just show you this one. This is a uh, Gigastone, but that's not the recommended one. I prefer to use another one like this one, for example, it's a SanDisk. It's a 32 gigabyte SD card but the camera supports up to 128 gigabytes, as you can see here, 128 gigabyte card, and it's good to have a brand that you trust, like SunDisk, for example, okay? I'll leave the link here in the description. So it's pretty easy to install. You basically get your camera and you insert the card. Let me just show you here. Then you insert that way, okay? Facing you, and you're gonna hear a message. There we go. Okay, as you can see, the camera talks to you, saying that you need to format the SD card. Then you, get to, you need to get your app and log in with your account and manage here uh, the camera to format the SD card, okay? Let me just put the camera there so we can see better here with the app. There we go. Just come here to the main screen, click on manage, and then you click here on this gear icon and you're gonna find here storage and recordings. Okay, when you click here, you see the options to format the SD card. It's not formatted right now, then I just need to click here and initialize the SD card, okay? So it's going to format it and make it ready for the recordings. After that, you need to set up the motion detection so the camera can detect motion and start recording based on motion or also in sound detection, okay? But it's pretty fast, as you can see, formatting already, almost 100%, so it's coming there. There we go, and you're good to go, okay? So see this happy face here? So you can enable loop recording. That means when the card is full, it's going to record and delete the oldest recordings, right? Come back here, and you have the recording schedule, you can record sounds, whatever you want here, the SD card is good right now. And when you come back here, you see notification, you see advanced settings, you see a lot of configuration here. Let me just check here the advanced settings. It's not here. What else I have? I have notifications and detection. There you go. I was looking for this one. So here you need to enable motion detection. So basically here you can adjust the sensitivity and the zones that you want to record. So basically it's going to detect motion and start recording. Also person detection, you enable here, depending on the where the camera is installed, you can see person there, and also baby crying detection. So if you enable here, if the baby cries, it's gonna make a sound and the camera is going to start recording, okay? So recording based on different events, okay? But the camera is basically working here and the SD card is now installed and I'm gonna have everything recorded according to events, okay? So that's the way you install an SD card on this TP-Link Tepo camera. I hope you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments and I see you in the next one.